Well, last week we uh, on Saturday we set up two new um, new hives, which is basically uh, hives that already have the queen introduced to the uh, frames. As far as there's drone, um, and that's so not drone, but there's already uh, brood drawn out. The queen's already laying eggs, so it's a uh, quicker way to get to your hives up and running uh, for the season. Costs a little more, uh, but I'm going to try to sneak in and give them some more sugar water without being suited up. And uh, let's see if we can do this without getting stung a bunch of times. And um, if I can't, I can't. <laughs> so, what I want to do is I want to just gently slide this back a little bit. So I can get it to where I can just, boy, they're ha they're happy in there. Let's take a look. Okay, let them calm down a second here. If I get stung too many times, I'll go put my protection suit on. But uh, just want to give them some more feed. You gotta be calm. If you're nervous and scared, they can sense it and they'll sting you like crazy. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we'll go ahead and give them some uh, the sugar uh, solution, which is one part sugar to one part water. And then also we put in some um, nutritional supplements, which helps them draw uh, brood quicker, helps the, um, the brood grow faster, gives it, because it makes the bees more healthier. And uh, there you go. Yeah, that was pretty empty down there. Okay, I gotta kind of share between. I gotta get more sugar here, but uh, we'll share between the three here and get more sugar for them. Out. They're definitely increasing their uh, appetite. All right, that's good for now. I'm gonna slide this over very gently. There we go. Only stung once, not bad. Problem getting stung um, is that now they smell it, so they're going to go ahead and um, feel more threatened because they smell that venom. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the next one there. He's just hanging out. What happens is their their little stinger gets stuck in there, and um, that's the white stuff you see coming out is actually their intestines. And um, but hey. A little bee sting doesn't hurt anybody if you're not allergic to it. I don't encourage you to try that if you're allergic to bees, but it doesn't bother me at all. All right, let's see what happens this next one here. This is the uh, new hive. It already has developed brood in there. I just wanted to try to slide this over a little bit here without disturbing them. There we go. There's enough room to get the funnel in there. And we'll fill her up. Because <laughs> the sugar water gives them a little extra nutrition, uh, food, before they can um, really start foraging. And they're already foraging too, but um, it just encourages them to make sure they get off a good healthy start. There we go. Oh, I think that one's full to the top. Okay. Oh, another stung. She goes, hey, get out of there. You're in my territory. Okay, okay. I will. Go we'll back away a little bit here because they're going to get a little mad at me here. Okay. And uh, one more here. Let's we'll see how many st stings we get in this hive here. I'm just going to sneak her back a little bit here. Here, cover it, sneak it back a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Get the funnel in there. And fill her up. Funny, they get a little testy and give them the sugar water for some reason. I think they it must be something to their senses. Because I always get stung usually when I give them the sugar water. There we go. Alright. It takes care of that one there. I think I'm going to go back and give some more to the uh, first one there. 
We got a little bit left here. Of getting stung in the eye, I mean, that's that's the most nastiest. Okay, or in the ear. <laughs> yeah, you got me. All right, I'll give it a little more time here. That's three stings, one per hive. The old saying goes, "No pain, no gain." And um, put a little more in there. Okay, good. I'll get some good food there. We'll give it a minute to sun, calm down. We'll slide it back on top and uh, we won't check this for a couple more weeks. And for now, probably another week and a half. What they're also looking for is they're looking for your um, carbon dioxide from your breathing. They smell that, that gets them excited. Okay, we'll slide this inner cover over carefully without getting stung again. There we go. Put the brick on. And one more over here. These guys are a little more angry over here, I think. There we go. Okay. Not bad, so we got them fed without putting a protective uh, suit on. Only three bee stings. Not bad for a day's work. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll be checking these guys in about a week here just to see how this one here I know is going to need a new, another medium box. I mean, a deep box on pretty quickly here because I know they're drawing a lot of comb. We checked them Saturday. We'll probably be in there probably this Saturday, Friday, Saturday to put a, a deep on with some empty frames keep them busy otherwise if we don't get it on there they will swarm <laughs>